Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Marathon. I am Big Chuck, delighted to have you aboard, my friends. In-studio guests all week long, Betty Lee joins me this morning, market manager for the fabulous Oneana Farmer's Market. Hi, Betty, how you doing? Good morning. Good. I'm glad to have you in here. Boy, it was. I stopped by the Farmer's Market this past Saturday. It was just popping down there. Um, you've got you've got a full lineup this year, don't you? We do. We have 12 vendors. Um, we have a new vendor called Cabbage Cove. Um, they have fermented cabbage. Uh, we have lots of different produce vendors. Do you know where they're from? Um, you know, off the top of my head, I don't. Uh, they have Cabbage a, Cove. Yeah, it, they run out of a golf course. I want to say near the Richfield Spring area. Okay, but they come down here for the... That's yeah. great. That's this great. is actually one of their first um, uh, markets. Excellent, excellent. What else you got new for this year? Um, we have uh, Pale Shop ale, uh, Pale Shop Vineyards. They're a uh, winery out of Cooperstown area. Nice. Um, and uh, let's see, we have uh, Summer's Natural. They're a um, goat... Um, they're made out of, their products are all made out of goat product uh, goat milk so yeah. that lotions um, those are always lip balms. popular yes. yeah 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 so they Excellent. make their own stuff they're more out of the Cobleskill area um, so this is really is you throw the net out quite wide to bring we do folks we in. try to you know make it diverse and you know even the produce vendors they have some of the same things but we try to make them so that everyone offers different and new things mm-hmm. so you know we are very limited on space people do you know apply to the market you know right now we are full for the season probably already booked for next season because people will be coming back wow um so there definitely is room to expand, you know, as far as people want us to expand, but we just don't have that room on, uh, in the plaza. I understand. Um, but we try to make it diverse, and, you know, we sometimes rotate people in and out so that we do have a different combination sometimes every other week or, mm-hmm. or maybe. Do you have any other things going on at the farmer's market? Any other attractions that people want to enjoy when they come yeah, down? Yeah, I mean, I try to have live music every week. This week is actually Beers and Blues Day, sponsored by the Roots Brewing Company. So Adrian will be coming down and sampling some of their beers. I have from 221 Bakery. Will Adrian be sampling them himself or will he be making them <laughs> she's gonna, available? She's going to make them available for, for everyone else. For yes. okay. um, and then Heather from 221 Bakery is going to be sampling some of her um, pretzels with mm. a cheese dip that's mm. made with a beer from Roots Brewery. And then I have a band called The Further Unsound. They're, they'll be new. They're from the Albany area. They reached out to me and I said, yeah, come on down as long as you do blues because that's the day. Um, so they're going to be a new group. So I'm excited. All, all of that will be from 10 to 12. And that's coming up. And this this that's coming this Saturday. Excellent. Yeah. So we tried. I try to do. Um, I have ten sponsors this year, so I try to do a, a sponsorship. You know, at least every other week. If yeah. I can. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I think but, you do a great job. Yeah, and we try to do music. There's only one day in October that I don't have as far as musician, and that's because I won't be there. So it's. I, if it, you're not there, no music. <laughs> that's the rule. Yeah. <laughs> what, what What do we look at as we move into the fall, as far as the market? Um, as far as like. What we have I mean, to offer. Uh, 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 at what time will you will you be moving inside eventually? Oh yeah, or? so the outdoor market runs from the beginning of May to the end of October. End of October. Yeah, and then and uh, we move into the uh, Main Street walkway, and mm-hmm. we're there every Saturday from nine to one, regardless of yeah. the time of year. Well, uh, and and that's got to be full too, because that's a limited that space. That is full, and I already have people coming t- and saying, you know, we'd like to get into the indoor market. Yeah, and that's full because there's only so much space in sure. there. Sure. You know, I like the farmer's market. It adds such a wonderful touch of fun, excitement, color to downtown Oneonta. But I got to tell you, I really like it in September and October. I yeah. like the fall. The fall. You know, colors, I mean, the, 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 the colors and the flowers that they have and yeah. the pumpkins and the cider. And I mean, it really is. Uh, it, it's just a, a great addition to what is now a beautiful downtown Oneonta. Yes. It looks great, doesn't it? Yes. And, and definitely a... Um a community gathering place in the Love morning. It, you yeah. see everyone, you know, talking to each other. Sure. So it, it's great. You so know. you uh, uh, is a good rule start at ten o'clock each Saturday. We start at nine. At nine o'clock. Yeah, okay. Nine to one. Nine to one. All right, yeah. Betty. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. My pleasure. Don't be a stranger. I am Big Chuck. Stay with me, gang. I'll be right back.